Hello. In this video, I'll show you uh, my project on converting an upright vacuum electric motor into a leaf blower. So this is the piece, the electric motor that I took out from an upright vacuum. So it's pretty simple. And here are the hoses, as you can see, was uh, at the end of its life. Uh, if there's so many years of service, I was planning to use it actually to uh, clean my cars, but I decided to use it as a leaf blower, the motor. So here are the other parts from the um, upright, and the motor was right here in this housing. So it's pretty simple. There are a few uh, bolts that you need to take it out. I didn't record that, obviously. Uh, but you should be able to do this on your own uh, pretty easily. So a few things I realized. This one here is the uh, the actually the the suction part. So the air is sucked into here by the motor from here. So I need to put a cover here. So when I try to use this in the garden in the backyard, I believe it will pull leaves and other dirt in here. So I need to put at least. Um, not a, I need to. I, I'm not supposed to fully cover it, but put something to prevent uh, the other stuff to go in. This is the switch here, and th this one here is the shaft, the motor shaft. And uh, if you are familiar with the upright operation, this one is used to rotate the brush. And there, there's a belt between here and the uh, the brush, and this usually the belt usually breaks, and you need to replace it. So if you did that, uh, you should have seen this piece. So this is uh, uh, this is rotating when the electric motor is running. So it's actually dangerous to operate it in this condition. So it may catch your clothing or other stuff. So I'll put a cover also here, a plastic cover. So I'll try to do this uh, with um, the things that I uh, find at home. I'll show you how it's done later in this video. So the most important part for the leaf blower function is this opening here. Because the, the air that gets sucked in is actually pushed out from here. So I'll be using the air coming out of here uh, to blow the leaves so the challenge here is to attach I'm planning to use actually the hose from the upright uh, to as the leaf blower part to direct the air coming out from here towards the leaves so the challenge is to attach it here as you can see uh, there's no way that you can do this directly this one goes obviously on the uh, body part here of the uh, upright so the challenge will be uh, to put it um, on here by the way my boys are playing um, video games and they're excited as you can hear so excuse that sound I can't uh, do anything about it right now so uh, I got some ideas on how to do this here one thing that I'll try is use this uh, glass cleaner bottle I'll cut this top part here and I'll try to actually bolt it uh, around this area here and this uh, tip of the hose will go in here I'll probably tape it for now okay um, I cut this piece the top piece with a box knife and I'll try to fix this here, this way. Doesn't look too good, I know. But as long as it works. Uh, as long as I can funnel the uh, pressured, pressured air into this hose here. So I'll use this uh, glue gun to put uh, glue around the 
uh, connection point here so that it doesn't leak air and if you don't have one of those you should be able to get it um, pretty cheap from a hobby store this wooden piece here is uh, my son's uh, from my son's taekwondo, pra taekwondo practice so he does uh, break one of those uh, in each belt test uh, he doesn't like me using them but they're very handy so uh, if you don't have one of this and if you don't want to buy you can also try to use like a super glue you should be able to get from dollar store um, to seal this or you can improvise something okay uh, so since I'm doing this uh, alone I'm uh, skipping steps uh, can't be doing it with the uh, one hand. What I did here is um, I did a uh, drill two holes here. Took my power drill, and then I did put two small bolts, something like this. So if you're a person who is going to attempt to do this, I'm assuming that you will have some spare bolts um, in your toolbox. If not, uh, you like to do things on your own it's a good idea to start collecting this I didn't buy them uh, usually take out bolts from stuff that that's going to trash like the uh, vacuum cleaner bolts right here that came from the body of the upright vacuum so I'll be keeping them and probably use them for a later project anyway I did uh, put two holes here and then uh, Put just two screws so it's pretty sturdy but obviously I have the openings so I'll try to seal this with the glue gun and I did put some in the back to start with okay here's my boy singing in the background and I wanted to show you how it looked like after uh, gluing around to seal it off so the air doesn't leak off and only comes from the top here where I'll be connecting the hose Okay, so next step I need to cover this shaft and uh, uh, put something here so that nothing goes in. Okay, uh, I decided to use this, this broken um, fly insect killer thing, I don't know what it's called. But uh, my sons, one of my sons broke this the other day. Instead of uh, putting it into trash, uh, I kept it and I'll cut a piece here. So... Um, I also had upstairs there's uh, the fruit baskets, the plastic fruit baskets. It also had this kind of net structure, plastic net. I was planning to use that, but for now I'll be using this. Um, I'll cut it out, a small piece here, and then cover this uh, suction port so nothing goes in during the operation. Okay, uh, here is what I did. Um, I did bolt this piece of this uh, fly killer thing uh, as a net on the top of the uh, suction port so that is covered so the leaves or other stuff doesn't go in over here uh, I did attach the hose to the uh, top of the uh, the glass cleaner bottle and I did bolt them on both sides as you see here so this is a weak plastic but we'll see how it goes I also seal it off with the glue gun around it as you can see so the air doesn't leak at this joint here as well okay so it's pretty much ready the only thing left off is uh, this covering this shaft just to make it uh, secure so it doesn't catch anything because this rotates very fast when it's working all right um, I'll cover that with another plastic piece and I found this uh, plastic cap in my uh, should call it workshop room here so I did uh, use the glue gun again to put it around so I'm, for now I think it's okay uh, it may not hold because I didn't uh, put screws around it I didn't use screws to attach this plastic piece here so I'm guessing that if I hit this uh, and I'm using it, it may break off. So I'll find another solution. So that's something that I want to 
uh, emphasize here as you can see I did uh, put screws uh, at the joints all around and over here I also used uh, three little screws so if you just glue them or use tape it won't hold uh, the tension will be too much while you are using this so the bolts will help I use two bolts here and also there's one bolt down here and one bolt here at this joint here so it's important that you use uh, screws or bolts uh, so it should, it should be pointy screw I did drill holes before putting this uh, screws it's important uh, that you bolt this in to make it sturdy over here uh, over the power switch here I realized that uh, I did a test run and I saw that uh, I realized that the air is leaking from this part here uh, so there was a port here I did seal it off with the glue gun and actually the glue gun actually became uh, very handy in this project so I would definitely suggest you to get one if you don't have one I wasn't expecting it to I wasn't expecting to use it this much but uh, it, uh, it it was very useful so I try to seal as much as I can I also realized the air is also coming out from this part here but I can't do anything for it now since it's the switch uh, I want to use a switch and I don't want to seal it off everything and compromise the switch so for now I think that a leak will be okay again this is not done to blow air again this is a part of uh, a vacuum cleaner so it's supposed to suck in air and does that pretty good through this port so the leaks are normal uh, as long as you can minimize them and this is pretty much ready um, so I'll be carrying this uh, in the field so <coughs> and it's not that heavy but it's not that easy to hold there's this uh, opening here you don't touch any more it's safe to hold it this way but it's not easy to hold it so I'm planning to put a strap around this so I can carry it um, while I'm using it in the backyard so I'll do that and it should be uh, ready to go let me do that first and we'll do a test run so I did put the strap I used this uh, piece of uh, cloth ribbon came out of this uh, piece here I think uh, my wife had this in her uh, hobby box so we did cut a piece here and I'm saying we because my son is behind me here watching me doing this so the important thing here is um, I did open this motor using these bolts here there are four of them actually and I did look inside so remember we are drilling uh, holes into this body here and there are cables behind it so you don't want to hit them uh, when you're putting the screws so I did actually drill a hole here and then I decided to look uh, behind it so I need to break the seal and then I glued it again but uh, I opened it up basically and I saw that there are cables behind this uh, hole here so instead of putting it there I drilled another hole and I know there's nothing behind this so I did put this bolt here and on the other side uh, I put another bolt and I know there's nothing behind this too so basically this will be this will help us to carry it around while we're using it and um, actually it is ready uh, so we'll see uh, how it works so I just want to uh, tell you this before we start using it please be careful uh, this is using regular CD voltage so you don't want to uh, drill these bolts into the cables and shock yourself so it doesn't look very pretty but uh, as long as it does the job okay so we did uh, do a test run and um, the hose was short and the regular uh, leaf blowers uh, have a pointed tip our pipe didn't have a pointed tip so instead uh, I used I found this uh, cardboard uh, tube and I taped it to the tip and we tried to make um, we folded the tip and tried to make it pointy so uh, 
my son will do the test run now I'll record him and as you will see uh, it's not very efficient uh, it's actually leaking uh, air from that switch on the body where I showed you before right here uh, that's not the major problem uh, it's built uh, as a weak um, blower it's a good uh, vacuum uh, it does uh, suck in the air pretty well but it uh, doesn't uh, do a nice job in blowing so it still does uh, blow the uh, loose leaves but when they are accumulated they don't do it, it doesn't do a good job so uh, my son will do a demo it will be loud uh, and I'll try to uh, reduce the volume in the video we'll see okay go for it So this is how the uh, finished uh, leaf blower uh, made from uh, upright vacuum cleaner uh, electric motor looks like. Uh, thank you for watching. Watching, um, please leave comments if you have suggestions. Again, uh, doesn't work very well. It does uh, blow uh, loose leaves, and, but it didn't cost me anything. Bye.